In high school physics, you learned about simple machines. The simplest of them all is a lever. We use them every day to make life happen. Doors are based on a fulcrum, the hinge, and a lever, the door. How about a seesaw? That's another example of a lever and a fulcrum. Archimedes said, give me a fulcrum and a lever, and I can move the world. He was right, but he wasn't a bow hunter. Here's another example. Scissors are actually two levers working in sync on a pivot or fulcrum. A Schwacker broadhead is made up of two levers and an activated fulcrum. The bone chisel blades activate the cutting blades. It always opens, just like those scissors you're familiar with. Simple is dependable. When you're bow hunting, Schwacker delivers. I think I got him. <laughs> this they call this dear old Limpy. And uh, I love him. I love his brow tines. I saw him last night on the trail camera. I said, if old Limpy comes in, I got a little something for old Limpy. Swacked him. <laughs> it looks pretty good. Swacked him, I should say. Man, what great brow tines. I love them. And this one's split. First two or three days of the season, they're very acclimated to food. They'd been mixing Khmer deer in the corn pile. A lot of work. You guys at Little Toledo know how to do it now, I'm telling you. I was pretty comfortable. I, I, I don't take a shot if I don't think I can make it. And when I drew the bow and I put the pin on him, I shoot that PSE Omen and it's shooting 320 feet a second, that 485 grain arrow, and it's just like a gun. I mean, it is so deadly. What a deer, man. Kansas, hard to beat Kansas. For me, growing up as a bow hunter, as long as I can remember, shooting the old small cut and diameters, mechanically challenged broadheads, um, now shooting Swacker, it's an exciting product for me because in the old days, you know, even if you made a good shot on an animal, sometimes you didn't recover the animal and most of the time it was a tough blood trail. And make a bad shot on an animal, a lot of times you never recover the animal at all. And now with Swacker, you know, you make a good shot, there is no doubt that animal is just going to be laying 30, 40 yards. Uh, and make a questionable shot, and nine times out of ten, he's not going to go far at all, you know. And for me, that's exciting because I think our goal as bow hunters should be shorter blood trails and recovering more animals. First, I'm going to take an arrow right out of the quiver nothing fancy no tricks no gimmicks and i'm going to shoot that turkey field point 100 grain field point at the turkey in the kill all right now that's a kill shot on a turkey at uh, probably further than most guys would try to shoot a turkey 
or actually try to take a turkey with the bow. Now I'm going to take a 100 grain Schweiker broadhead and I'm going to shoot the same exact spot, aim in the same spot and try to see if I can't put the broadhead with the field point for field point accuracy. No tricks, no gimmicks, just proven technology. Now what's amazing about that is we're standing in 15 mile an hour wind, it's 45 degrees, uh, it's cold outside, uh, really shouldn't be able to stand here and shoot that well at that distance. But to see, show you that it wasn't just uh, a luck shot, we're going to take and do one more. Out, just as I supposed on the uh, arrow that I told you the broadhead cut the fletching this was a brand new arrow cut the fletching off of the arrow that I shot before it so it uh, if that's not field point accuracy I don't know what it is